So now in this video we're going to talk about the RC time constant. When you have a capacitor that's either charging or discharging from one voltage to another through a resistor you get the RC time constant. And to calculate that you take the capacitance in farad. This is a 1000 microfarad uh, capacitor same as 0 0.001 farad or 1 1000th of a farad. So if you multiply that by a thousand ohms you get one second. The uh, 100 microfarad is 0 0.0001 farad or 10 thousandths of a farad. So you need to multiply that by 10 thousand ohms to get uh, one second. You keep adjusting these uh, values until you get the time that you want for the most part. But in any case, a time constant, if you're changing from one voltage to another, the uh, one time constant will get you about 63% of the way. To make it easier, we're gonna round it off to about uh, two thirds right there. And uh, so the uh, next uh, time constant that you got, you're gonna get about 63% of what's left. And ultimately, after about five of them, you're gonna get from the original starting voltage to basically your final voltage. You don't really uh, count the little bit of trickling that goes on afterwards. So now, of course, it's much more effective to actually see it on the screen. So 1,000 microfarad capacitor there and 1,000 ohm resistor. I'll try to stop this right when it gets onto a line. So uh, we got each, uh, division here set to one second. So after one second, you can see we got about four volts. As I said before, two thirds of the uh, final voltage. And then a little more than one volt uh, for the next one and uh, so on. After about five of them, we consider it uh, fully charged. So in any case, that's 1000 ohm resistor with the 1000 uh, microfarad capacitor there. So now we're gonna swap that out with the 100 microfarad capacitor and I have to uh, discharge it. it looks like it was already uh, charged and uh, so I'm going to instantly discharge it release it and there you can see how fast it went so about a tenth of a second for one time constant which uh, is uh, maybe you use that in the circuit but not very good for a demonstration circuit where we're trying to look at the curve in real time fortunately the uh, resistor lead was bent uh, hopefully it's making a good enough connection because now that's a 10,000 ohm resistor. We got uh, one tenth of the resistance and you can see that uh, when I short the capacitor and then release it, we got the same curve that we had before. Let's see if I can stop it right on the line. There we go. So uh, one time constant, one second, we got about four volts and then a little more than another volt and uh, so on. We have the same time constant because we did the math. We can keep adjusting these values to get exactly what we want. But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed.